Greetings and welcome to an more Minecraft Abridged. Wait, wait. Sorry, this is this is Technic Let's Play. Although Minecraft. Well, that would be a sneak peek into a possible another video series. Anyways, this would be episode four, I think. Should be episode four. If this is not episode four, then it is episode fifty-three because that's a nice even number. And building, building. Yay! Okay. Now let's see, I was heading into the swamp to find more rubber trees. Ooh. Is that lava or... Oh, a fire crystal. But you do specifically need the fire crystal for one of Thonecraft starter things, so... Okay, I have the dirt for it. Okay. Dig around. Hmm. Okay, come on. Almost. Oh. Uh, uh. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. Where is my dirt? Now, let me see. There we go. Uh oh. Now, I'm sorry, but I cause a blackout. Come on. Let's see. Step. 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 There we go. Yay! This marble is nice. I may have to... but it's all over, so... So I won't bother mining any. Now, there's there's a rubber tree. There's several rubber trees. Yay. Okay. And swamp trees can drop apples as well. Oh, pig and mushrooms. At, oh, oh. I'm out of sword. Another crafting table. Let's see, got any room for rubber wood, resin? Uh oh, I didn't leave room for rubber wood or resin. I'll just have to use up a sword on pigs. And... Oh... I forgot, there is a... Con conflict, I guess you could say? With mo creatures and... Um, squid. In that... How they spawn... Their spawn. Depending on what... You know, your personal experience, I've heard either no spawn at all, spawn only at night, spawn only, you know, at, cer you know, within a certain light level that you have to specifically try for, spawn only in certain biomes. It's really annoying. Oh, yay, more saplings. 
sugar cane, and I was supposed to be getting rubber saplings. Hey, so I'll grab some mushrooms. Hmm. Uh, you can actually make basic mushroom farms. You just plant them in a dark room and they'll eventually spread. It takes ages though. Let's see. Uh, actually, I'll go use up my wood pickaxe on stone. Whoa. And I don't want to fall. So let's see. Stone, stone, there's a nice cavern. Any coal? Oh, there's iron. Do I have room for iron? No. That's disappointing because with Thumbcraft to, as well, the. Okay, if you played Tech It, you know this, but you will use so much iron. With Thumbcrafting as well, uh, you don't use too much more, but you do use a lot. So, iron becomes pretty much the most valuable resource. Which is a fairly nice change to vanilla, where you get so much you have no clue what to do with it. The same can, the same can be said for gold. It goes from almost useless in vanilla, aside from like powered rails and clocks, and that's about it, to being needed in everything, especially with red power. See, got more saplings. No more apples. Well, I suppose that's a good thing since I'm still, since I still keep using up space. I'm gonna keep the egg for once again the thalamic duplicator. Uh, using the wool to make a bed wouldn't help much. I have another mushroom. Oh. Uh, here's a nice pit of water. I will drop. Some dirt. I can cook those. Yeah, that, because I'm right next to a massive volcano. Mm, the sun is setting already. Wow, up was fast. And now I've seen a lot of debate about this. Rubber trees will regenerate the rubber as long as you have not broken it by over tapping. It does the amount of leaves on the tree has makes no impact on this at all. Okay, doesn't matter. You can cut it off the tops just fine. It'll still regenerate. And actually. Um, the fastest way to get, or the way to get the most rubber once you have an extractor for rubber wood is to just bone meal a tree, um, tap all the resin holes until they run out, then cut it down, and just plant another one and repeat. saplings more saplings two 
You suck. Okay, go across here. And... Kind of hoping to see some red mushrooms too, so I can make mushroom soup. Mushroom, as as I said in my survival guide, mushroom soup and steak are the best foods. And I have plenty of steak. Uh, just need mushroom soup. I I will not be using. Well, once again, I don't. I think the only time I'll use equivalent exchange is is for trash like you know you get the multiple chests full of cobblestone and for uh, building materials that I'll need a lot of like glass. What are you doing there? That was a duck. Duck. Hi. There we go. Hey, more chicken. Even though it came from a duck. More sugar cane. Oh yes, and because this is the latest technic, there is mistcraft in this. So that's more books that are needed. Um, Mistcraft is complicated, it's ex exactly like Mist, including age corruption. Well, I assume it's exactly like Mist since that's what it's supposed to be. I have not played Mist, so I can't really say for sure. But anyways, in order to, in order to avoid age corruption, you should read the, wake the wiki first off. But, um, there are certain symbols to avoid when making an age. The biggest one is dense ores. That is almost guaranteed corruption. However, it is also stackable. So, if you have, if you're using, like, the equivalent exchange tools, you hop, in, hop into an age, abuse them as much as you can, then quickly get out before you crash. Um, that's an excellent way to get resources. Of course, if you have equivalent exchange, you don't really have a lack of resources anyway, so... Okay. I'm realizing I've spent, you know, a fair amount of time bagging on equivalent exchange. It's not that I don't like it, it's that it's just not balanced too well around or with other mods. Which, to be fair, it shouldn't, it's not, you're not supposed to make something to balance it around other mods. Anyway, so... But... Well, in de the main mods of Tech uh, Techit and Technic are all meant for mass for a very very large amount of playtime. The equivalent exchange is roughly three hours until you're pretty much a god, and two of those hours amount to standing around, you know, opening up your inventory then go and watch YouTube for a couple hours. Or, not even that, if you're on a multiplayer server where you can just drop a world anchor and then come back to having a full condenser. So, it's an enjoyable mod, it has useful tools, but it's just not well balanced for really anything at all. I think even 
since I am planning on building a nuclear reactor just to help those who don't know how or who don't know how to set one up right. Um, no, actually, I was thinking about using a condenser for ice because the ice, you know, okay, they're called SUC, so single use coolant um, reactors. And ice in a condenser works really well for them. But come think of it, I have red power and build craft and build craft. Yes, just build craft. I didn't say anything else. Um, so I, I suppose I don't even need to do to condense ice. I mean, you can use water buckets as coolant as well. You can have, you can set up retrievers to retrieve empty buckets. And I'm lagging and going to die from zombies. I don't want to die from zombies. Okay. Um. Oh, come to think of it, I don't think I will go too far into reactors because Industrial Craft has updated and has caught with massive changes to reactors. Mm. I can't really say too much about it. I've read the patch notes, but I'm just not too sure. But the problem is anything I say now will will pretty much be obsolete come um, come that when everything else updates. Come on. Give me your brain. Okay. I think I will head back to my base and actually this video might have, I think this video ran fairly long. Yeah. Okay. Well I'll stop when it, com when it comes to dawn. Or when it's on. And in the meantime, more zombies to hunt. Whoa! or be hunted by oh. hmm. There's a nice zombie island. And it's coming to daytime. Come on. And one more. Okay. Now it's time to head back home, cause I, I have nine. Huh? Nine saplings aren't bad. And come on, just want to get to this island so I, because I have really bad luck with, you know, logging off and then coming back to find out I have no breath and I'm stuck at the bottom of the water. And 
Come on, let me out. Okay then. Okay. See you next time.